Presumptive Democratic nominee Joe Biden is apologizing for something he said about African Americans at a virtual conference for black and Hispanic journalists. Ed O'Keefe is covering campaign 2020. Ed, what did Biden say? Well, good morning, Jeff. The comments came in an interview that lasted almost an hour. He was asked about immigration and how he would engage with Cuba. Here's some of what he had to say. What you all know, but most people don't know, unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. You go to Florida, you find a very different attitude about immigration in certain places than you do in your, when you're in Arizona. Late last night, Biden clarified the comment, tweeting, in no way did I mean to suggest the African-American community is a monolith, not by identity, not on issues, not at all. President Trump had jumped all over the comments, calling them an insult to African-Americans. And in a separate attack during his visit to Ohio, the president also took aim at Biden's faith. Take away your guns, destroy your Second Amendment, no religion, no anything, hurt the Bible, hurt God. He's against God, he's against guns, he's against energy, our kind of energy. Biden, a devout Catholic, responded by calling the president's comments shameful and said his faith has been a bedrock foundation of his life. The former vice president's propensity for gaffes is one of the reasons why the president's been pushing for them to debate a fourth time in early September, around the time that many Americans can start voting early. But the Commission on Presidential Debates has rejected that request, saying they would only offer up a fourth debate if the president and Biden agree to do so. Biden and the president now are scheduled to debate at least three times, beginning in late September. Jerika, the debate over debates <laughs> continues. Sounds like it. Thank you, Ed O'Keefe.